I've literally had waking nightmares and panic attacks about being reincarnated as a duck. Being incapable of complex thought, following duck-related urges like eating breadcrumbs and whatnot, not comprehending what is happening to me or why I do what I do. Freaks me the hell out! Now we're into spooky month, I thought I'd look into some weird fears. I'm not too proud to say that even I, Matt Rose, have a, a slight minor phobic reaction to- Oh my god, bleh, sweet Jesus, just look at him! Of course, whilst phobic do make you feel shit, they are irrational, they're silly, they're laughable. If we immerse ourselves in the nonsense of Reddit's phobias, perhaps we'll all see how illogical our own are. From the ages of 11 to 15-ish, the sight of David Hasselhoff would send me into a crippling anxiety attack. Not mine, but my friend's dad is so terrified of buttons, ordinary buttons on your shirt or coat, that he can be physically sick if he touches one. Ant, I'm 6 foot 11. I'm irrationally afraid that gravity is going to suddenly switch off. My neighbour growing up was horrified of turning left in any way. I will never get within 15 feet of a boy! Any kind of red sports drink? I'm afraid of puking after drinking red Gatorade and people thinking it's blood and rushing me to the hospital against my will. Oh, I don't even know. Chins. I'm terrified of bicycles. Even just seeing a picture gives me the creeps. Wooden spoons. They're just so dry. I'm scared of goats. And it's even weirder as I've realised what I blamed for sparking this fear turned out to be a horse. So I really shouldn't be afraid of them. My friend has a fear of mayonnaise. She will scream and run away if mayo approaches her. Oh, back scratchers. There's just something about them that males me want to vomit. Being hit by a meteorite. Getting my nipples ripped off. Giant isopods. Rather embarrassed to admit this, but soap. When really quiet people get angry and yell, I got goosebumps just typing it. Cotton balls. Basically, this. Cotton balls, they make me sick. You not deal with it. Don't go back there. No. There's a lot of cotton back there. Carolyn, come here. I've since grown out of it, but when I was young, I was terrified of burglars coming out of the toilet. I don't know why, or how that's even logical. Lukewarm cheese. Umpa lumpas. A finger in my belly button. Moments. My friend is afraid of hands up. He freaks out if you do this in front of him. Is your friend a bear? That I'll somehow accidentally be roped into some sort of international spy incident by somehow being mistaken for a contact by doing a series of random things. I'm kind of a man's man, but I always have a panic attack when I'm uh, rolled up in a rug. I have a fear of heights. Well, that's not that weird at all. I am a pilot. Don't ask me why, but the thought of there being a little minnow swimming around in my milk when I pour it keeps me up at night. I get really uncomfortable when I see pictures of Jupiter. Long hallways! Like, what the fuck kind of fear is that? Brain, please. I had recurring nightmares about the yodeling mountain climber from The Price is Right coming to get me. Don't know if this is a weird fear or not, but I am terrified of growing older. I'm quite young, 18, and just the thought of growing older and not being able to do the things I do now scares me. Oh dear. Garage doors. Wuthering heights that I will develop a spontaneous peanut allergy and die. Phobophobia. The fear of phobias. How are you alive in this thread? I've been scared of Cameron Diaz ever since I first saw her in the mask. Wild turkeys. <laughs> Wild well, turkey, eh? Touching silk. Just the thought of touching silk makes me cringe and rejecodnifida. I'm terrified of the idea that someone is going to figure out a way to magnetise my blood and then tear my veins out of my body. I just a judge of it! Lots of different types of bugs, like praying mantises or moths or cockroaches. Ooh, it's the long antennas and the little hair on their legs. Ooh, and scuddles. I have very saggy balls. <laughs> And I have this irrational fear that lowering the toilet seat, then sitting on it, will get my balls stuck underneath it. Then the rest of my weight will come crashing down onto my testicles, obliterating them. I've tested the physics of it a few times, in a controlled test, for science of course, and I don't think it's quite possible. But dear God, the thought! I've drawn a very poor paint representation to give some idea what I mean. Very poor? I'm sure they're just being modest. This is a Redditor of science, of, of physics, so I'm confident this is going to be a pretty well constructed diagram. Oh. Pickles and feet. Balloons and getting caught shitting, I think. The number 213 and aubergines. Crabs. They're the spiders of the ocean. What? Well, what a stupid thing to say. Also, judgement. I sometimes can't even sleep. I'm so afraid someone might paper cut the tip of my dick. Tim Burton's art style? I mean, come on. What if I don't end up making a lasting contribution to society and my life never assists the advancement of our human race in any impressive man? Prawn crackers! Biting a fork sideways. I've never even considered doing that. Is that, is that bad? 
idea of meeting my most idolised famous person and accidentally kicking them square in the chest. Trampolines are not for the reason you would think. Getting pinched by the springs. No, in case there's a man under the trampoline with knives. I have this recurring dream where my house is assaulted by half man, half bear creatures. A bit like this. And just thinking about them appearing while looking outside makes them come. Luckily for me, this has only ever actually happened in real life on one occasion. I can't go through drive through Hang on, go back. What? One of my fears is pregnant women. They make me feel sick. Found out I was pregnant the other day. This will be fun. Whenever I drink a can of soda, I fear that my two front teeth would get caught in the mouth of the can and it would rip them out from the roots. Yeah. I don't like that. Crossing any street that the antenna of a car would somehow hook with my eyelid and rip it. Oh, as I blink like a madman in a crossing! If I jump from a building's roof into a dumpster below, I'll hit the back of my head on the edge of the dumpster. This has never come up. My computer chair exploding. As no. Well, thanks to AI now making art, we can see what that looks like. Doesn't seem that scary to me. I have a horrible fear of my big toes being on the wrong foot, and lefty being on the right foot, and righty on the left. I've no idea why, but I have to check every so often to be sure. I'm a six foot, 260 pounds, big hairy man who's into martial arts, but if there's a frog in my canoe, I freak the hell out. Fuck yes, my man! I had a buddy in middle school who told me he had a fear that his genitalia would, for lack of a better phrase, retreat into his body if he got too cold or was too frightened. He probably made it worse by being frightened by the prospect. Mascots. I once ran screaming from a giant maple leaf mascot in a packed expo hall. I was 17. I don't know how old you have to be before you stop bolting up the basement stairs because you think a ghost is chasing you, but it's not 34. The emergency broadcast system tone, which sounds like this. <coughs> And not as this Redditor suggests. <laughs> Wads of wet hair. Doors that open with these. The Undertaker is afraid of cucumbers. Doubt this will get red, but when in elementary school I had this extremely irrational fear that I was living an hour ahead of everyone else. My phobia is the face when you pull your eyes down and the corners of your mouth up. If my husband tries to do it around me, he will surely get kicked in the face. Scary face of phobia. My auntie has a phobia of bananas. For her 40th birthday last year, my uncle made her a card with a pop-up banana in it. She opened it, fainted, and smashed her head on the floor when she fell. It was the funniest thing I've ever witnessed. Ferrets, gourds, spotlights, blimps, the feeling of deja vu, bunk beds, bells, bet midler, ham, the feeling of deja vu, long metal poles, super moons, water, decapitation, white plastic forks, ladders, just ladders, the tides, peeling oranges, gauze, gravel, down vote, the Burger King King, starfish, when I was in fourth grade this little brat at my school named Lexi hit me in the face with one and now I hate them, also for a while I was scared of rocks, elevators, dandelion puffs, Anchors, cashiers, potatoes, animals with opposable thumbs, talking trees, spiral staircases, ah. corduroy, hardwood floors, alpacas, and I'd assume llamas also, though I've never met one, house plants, cheese graters, being licked, or we're not going to new ovens, dams, umbrellas, croissants, golf carts, staplers, sticks of butter, took me a while to realise this isn't the fetish thread, cup, maps, ferris wheels, big leaves, miniature donkeys, tool socks, ostriches, 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 <laughs> Ostriches. My worst nightmare is a slug crawling into my urethra. Thanks, I'm done with everything forever. Well, do you know what? After going through so many of those, I feel like I might have actually learned that frogs, they're not so bad. I actually think I could probably hold one quite- Oh, no, God, fuck off, get rid of that. I was wrong! He hello I is someone still there? Hello, Hannah Lee's Eleven, how are you? Uh, you know that the video's ended. Yeah, we, we finished it, we've wrapped that. Definitely late on this, but oh well. K yes, you are late. Yeah, the video's already done. Oh, okay, fine. Quickly, though, and this better be good. I have a huge fear of reading anything with pictures while I poop. Like, I can't read a magazine or something with people in it without thinking they are watching me poop. That is weird. It is weird.